Hey, what's up guys? So I'm just going to be showing you really quickly how I set up the load remover for dying light. Uh, first things first, obviously you're going to need live split. Um, it's just livesplit.org. Uh, go to downloads, download it. I'll leave the link in the description. And uh, once you have it downloaded, we're just going to open that up real quick and get a new split. And then we're going to go to edit splits. We're going to right click on it hit edit splits and then here in game name you're just gonna type in dying light and it should pop up a drop down uh, so yeah uh, the drop down pops up you're gonna wanna click on that and then it should give you the option to activate or deactivate the load remover and uh, auto splitter which I don't 100% know how to use, but once I do, I'll make a tutorial on that as well. So you're gonna wanna make sure that's activated and uh, you can go ahead and set up your splits or whatever you need to do. I'll also leave a link to uh, the splits that I use. I just use uh, Jolner's splits. Uh, he has a really good tutorial on uh, any percent, the, the whole run. So I'll leave that in, de in the description as well. So once you have that activated, just go ahead and click okay. And then this is also really important. You're gonna to wanna to right click again and down where it says compare against, you're gonna to want to select game time. This is where I had a problem. I didn't switch it over to game time. So it wasn't showing the actual time without the loads. So once you have it on game time, you're good to go. And then a quick way to test if it's working is just go launch dying light. And then as soon as the game launches, it should start the timer just like that so that's how you know it's working and uh, I'll just go ahead and do a quick test um, after the game has already started to make sure it's working and then also what's really cool about the load remover is that it'll automatically start the uh, the timer for you so I'll just go ahead and start a new save file Skip the cutscene. And then here where the loading screen is, uh, and when you when it pops up, press space to continue. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and start the timer and it'll automatically pause for you. So right there where it says press space to continue, I'm just gonna start the timer. And as you can see, it pauses it automatically because we're technically in a loading screen. So we're just gonna press space to continue. And as soon as the cutscene starts, or as soon as we get into the game, it's going to automatically start the timer. So that's pretty cool. And then another way you can further test to see if it's working is if you go ahead and quit the game, and the timer will stop in this loading screen. And now this is a really important thing to note, that the load remover, if you're in the main menu, uh, doesn't work. So the timer is just going to keep going, so make sure when you're doing save warping or whatever, you're getting out of that as quickly as possible because the time will still keep going. And also, the time doesn't resume until you press space to continue. You pinch him. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I think that's about it. If you have any questions, go ahead and hit me up. I just started running this game myself, so any of the like really in-depth questions I won't be able to answer, uh, but go ahead and just leave them in the comments. One thing I forgot to mention is I've heard with certain games, I'm not sure if it's with Dying Light, but if it's not working for you uh, launching it from the Steam Launcher, you might have to start it with the EXE itself. So that's pretty easy to do, you just go into your folders. Go to where you have your Steam directory, go to Steam Apps, Common, go down to Dying Light, and then in here where it says Dying Light Game EXE, uh, that's, the, that's the EXE. So if it doesn't work through the Steam Launcher, you might want to try this out, see if that works for you. So yeah, that's it. I hope you found this video useful, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.